I love Urban Outfitters. So Mac moisturizer? Yes. <laughs> That's good. I'm a Mac addict in case nobody saw my huge <laughs> Mac makeup box. Uh, let's see here. The questions are coming fast and furious at the end. Nick, was Zach saying some of the things this year he has said about Danielle? What do you think of him as a close friend? That's from Cat in Kentucky. Um, I don't, you know, Not much. I thought he had uh, Danielle's back for a while, and I thought, you know, towards the end, I think everybody's going to get cooped up in that place, and everybody's going to start shit talking about one another. So I mean, things are going to happen. Unfavorable things are going to happen, and uh, you know, he didn't he didn't take anything that far out of context. I mean, he was like, you know, he wasn't that mean or anything from what I saw. I don't know. I didn't watch the live feed, but from what I saw on CBS, he he wasn't bad at all. And he found his faith through Tamika. Totally honest. God bless you. Awesome God. guy. Uh, Nick and Danny, is there a plan for Europe to travel? Yeah, there's definitely a plan. And, um, you know, contrary, I've been hearing the, some of the live feeds, and, you know, I'd like to meet Dick in Ireland maybe for a day. Bruxelles. Yeah, Bruxelles uh, wherever. I mean, for like 20 Bruxelles. minutes. There's totally a plan. I've been scoping it out because, you know, I've had some free time in the past eight weeks. So uh, I've been looking into things, hopefully. I would like to ask Nick what happened. This is not me. This is a uh, question from somebody. Uh, he basically said that he was going to use his body as a weapon, and then he fell in love at first sight. What happened, buddy? Your body is a <laughs> weapon? <laughs> that sounds like a Zach quote to yeah. me. <laughs> no, I mean, obviously, you know, I came in the house, and um, I was totally firm on the fact that I was like, I'm not getting into a romance or anything like that. I'm not going to be that guy. I told the producers that and Whoopsie. stuff like that. And then as soon as I met Danielle, I was like, obviously she's, you know, I was very taken by her. She's very beautiful. But then I started to talk to her and I was like, oh shit, I'm going to be that guy because, you know, she's funny, she's personable and she's smart. And, um, you know, we, we, we met on so many levels that, it, you know, just, she took me away with that. And then he tried to make out with Jen. Ex apparently. <laughs> but everybody saw that, that she fabricated it, so it's all good. Were you ever flirtatious with Jen? Yeah. I mean, I was flirtatious with everyone yeah. the first three days. You he know, was like, flirtatious like with it's, Joe. Like Dick said, I was with Joe and uh, Dustin, and uh, you know, I was going to use the angles, but then it just got to the point where I was like, I like Danielle, and take that, rest of the house guests. <laughs> yeah, I got you. So you've officially become that guy then? Who? I am that guy. <laughs> quote me on, you know, quote me on it. I got robbed. There was nobody for me to hook up with in that. Darn. Jen, so pissed. Oh. Any uh, last Never. words for America before I take us out? Uh, thank, thank you for your support. Um, it's unbelievable. Thank you for voting for me, you guys. Seriously. As a reminder, we'll replay this chat on the Superpass site soon. Plus, we'll have exclusive behind-the-scenes interviews from the finale. Keep coming back to Superpass for more Big Brother and watch the replays. Thanks, everyone. Thank I'm you. Laramie. Rock on. Stay classy. <laughs> Stay classy. Stay classy, San Diego. <laughs>